What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today guys, I'm showing you the best 5 SMGs to use right now here in Warzone Season 3. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss any more videos. And also I want to mention in today's video that these are not in order from best to worst, worst to best or anything. These are just 5 of the best SMGs you can run right now here in Warzone. But anyways guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and let's hop into it. Alright, so for our first weapon guys, we have the MP40. Now this is one of the best SMGs. SMGs in the game still it's really fun to use so for this build the mercury silencer will be our first attachment it's a new attachment i've been running it's really good i like using it but it's gonna help with sound suppression horizontal recoil control and bull velocity the main thing i'm looking at here is that bull velocity it's gonna help our bullet trial faster and hit our targets faster make us more aggressive which is what we want for the barrel, we're going to be adding on the Crossnick 317mm 04B. This is going to help the weapon be highly accurate and controllable. And plus, it's going to reduce scope sway and gun bob. So our weapon's going to be really accurate, easy to control, which you're going to be getting easy kills using this build. Now for the optic, you can either use the Slate Reflector, which I prefer being more comfortable with. And then you have the Crossnick ISO 1M. It's going to help you have a faster iron sight. Well, a larger iron sights and it's gonna help you aim down sights quicker it's gonna help you be more aggressive it's totally up to what you want to run but for this video i am running the slate reflector now for the stock i'm gonna be adding on the crossnick 33m folding stock if you want to run this you can or you can run the remove stock it's totally up to you but i like to be more aggressive running around the map faster but the main thing here with this attachment is you're shooting faster off a sprint which most of the time everybody runs a lot so you definitely want to choose this one over the remove stock now for perk 1, you can run two of them. You can run steady for that ADS firing move speed and brace. Where we're going to be going with brace in that for initial firing recoil control, which is really nice. And then perk 2, we are adding on quick for that sprint speed. So we're running around the map faster, flanking behind people faster. Just in general, our mobility is going up, which is very needed. Now for the rear grip, we're going to be adding on the fabric grip for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and hip fire accuracy. The magazine is going to be the Gorinko 45 round mag for recoil control, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate. And then for the ammunition type, we're going to be running the Incendiary rounds. Now, I've been using this for a while. It's really fun to use for this weapon, so I'm adding it on. And then finally, guys, you're going to add on the M1941 handstop grip for that recoil control and accuracy, making the MP40 an absolute laser beam, and you're not going to be missing any shots using this build. All right, so for our next weapon, guys, we have the MAC-10. Now, I know I uploaded this yesterday, but the MAC-10 is such a great weapon, and I know a lot more people are going to see this. So for the MAC-10 build, I am running the Sound Suppressor for that sound suppression, aim down sight speed, bull velocity, and sprint to fire speed. For this build, I want to be really up close and personal, very aggressive for this, so I don't really care about that effective damage at range con, so I'm not really worried about it at all. Now for the barrel, I am using the Task Force Barrel for that effective damage at range, that bull velocity, and strafe speed. So we're getting that strafe speed up that's going to be helpful, very helpful for juking people out. That bull velocity can help our bullet trial faster in air, and plus we do get some more effective damage at range here, so it's going to help even out the sound suppressor con, so we're adding this on. For the laser, we're going to be adding on the Tiger Team Spotlight for that movement speed and aim walking movement speed. Now, I like to have really good mobility. As you see here on the graph, it's almost maxed out already. So this is going to be a really good build to use. For the stock, we're going to be adding on the Raider stock for that ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. I like being really aggressive, having very high mobility so I can run around the map faster, juke people out, and of course shoot faster shoot faster off a sprint so it's gonna help us get easy kills juke people out and we're gonna get people mad that's our goal here and then for our final attachment guys you can add on the 53 round jump if you want but i do not want to lose out on too much aim down sight speed nor do i want to lose out on too much reload quickness so i am going with the 43 round drum so we just lose no aim down sight speed and plus we have a little bit of reload quickness con which is okay it still reloads fast so reload fast get back to those gunfights and you guys are going to enjoy this build all right, so guys, we have the Owen gun for our next weapon here. So for this class setup for the muzzle, we're going to be adding on the recoil booster for that fire rate. It's going to help us be more aggressive. We're going to have a faster time to kill, and it's going to make the Owen gun 20 times better to use. So we're adding this on. We're not going to be running a barrel. You don't need one, trust me, so add, don't add one on. For the optic, we're going to be adding on the M38 Slate 2.5 Custom right here. It's going to help with accuracy and recoil control. We're not going to be using the G16 on the bottom. You're going to toggle up to the top slate reflector. So when you're adding a magazine, you're not going to see it on the side of your weapon. It's not going to bother you. Really nice to use. So you're going to add this on. 
for the stock we're gonna be adding on the remove stock for movement speed aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and aim walking movement speed so it's gonna have a really good mobility buff here for the owen gun and plus we're shooting faster off a sprint and plus we're aiming down sights quicker so it's gonna help us get into those gunfights a little bit easier so we can take people out faster for perk one you're gonna add on acrobatic for movement speed and sprinting move speed so we're moving really quickly across the map getting to those gunfights quicker getting more kills flanking getting a like you know leaving if we're hurt or just anything mobility wise we are moving faster and plus for that second perk we are using quick for that sprint speed so again we are moving faster around the map high mobility which we want for the rear grip you're going to add on the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire now i do like that accuracy and recoil control but the main thing here i'm looking at here is that flinch resistance for the polymer grip when getting shot at you're not going to flinch as much so definitely you're going to want to add this on for the magazine, you're going to add on the 8mm Cruise 60 round drum for that bull velocity and damage, that damage at range, and that bullet penetration, and of course a larger magazine size. So you're going to be hitting people really hard, which you want, and you guys are going to love it. For the ammunition type, we're going to be adding on the hollow point rounds for that extra limb damage, so our bullets are hitting our targets really hard, which is about a 61-62 damage per shot to the chest, higher, which you guys are going to love. Now for the final attachment guys, I'm adding on the M1941 hand stop grip again for that recoil control and accuracy just to make the only gun a little bit easier to control, make it really good on accuracy so you're not going to be missing as many shots and you guys are going to love this build. Alright, so next guys, we have the CX-9, which is basically the Scorpion Evo. If you think about it, it looks like it, it acts like it, and it just goes crazy like it. So for this class setup for the barrel, we are adding on the CX-38S. This can help with damage at range, recoil control, bull velocity, and sound suppression. So our weapon is going to be quiet, super stealthy and quiet, so it's going to help us stay alive a lot longer. That bull velocity is going to help our bullets shot faster and hit our targets faster. That recoil control is going to help our weapon be easier to control, and that damage at range can help our bullets be stronger at a longer distance, which is very nice now for the optic i am adding on an optic just because i do not like the iron sights for this weapon you're going to want to add on the gi mini reflex if you want to add on a red dot sight for this if you want to you know replace it for something else you can but i do not like the iron sights at all so i am adding on the gi mini reflex for the underbarrel you're going to add on the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability now i do think this is a very important attachment just because on how much more accurate you are going to get with this weapon and plus you are more stable when aiming down sights which is very nice the magazine is going to be the 50 round drum a larger magazine size easy squad wipes without reloading so add this on and then finally guys you're going to add on the uh, cx9 tack grip for that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed it's going to help you be really aggressive fast aim down sight speed shooting faster off a sprint which is going to help you get easier kills Alright, so guys, for our last and final build here for the video, we have the Modern Warfare MP5. I think it's such an underrated weapon now. Not too many people use it. It's still really good. So for this build, the barrel is going to be the Monolithic Integral Suppressor. It's going to help with sound suppression and bull velocity. We're getting a lot of it, so our bullets are traveling super fast across the map to hit its targets faster. Really good to use here. Now for the laser, we are going to be using the M5W laser. This can help with hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. So we are we can hip fire and we're shooting faster off a sprint which is really nice the underbarrel is going to be the merc foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy the magazine is going to be the 45 round mag now you can squad white people with this if you are accurate enough and if they're close together and all that it's really good to use so i'm adding this on and then finally guys for the stock we're going to be adding on the ftac collapsible stock for that movement speed and aim down sight speed so we are moving faster around the map and plus we are aiming down sights quicker when getting into those gunfights really nice to use and this is the final build in the comment section if you have any thoughts or what weapon should be added instead of another one what was your favorite if you drop any high kills with these let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace